No need to reinvent the wheel, they say. Funnily, it's been recently reinvented. There's a bicycle with square wheels. And it's not a modern art object stored in a fancy museum. Nope. It's a totally functioning, everyday means of transportation. And yeah, it goes smoothly. Here's a secret behind this weird bike you gotta know. These square wheels don't actually rotate. Take a closer look at their design. The outside of the wheel is fitted with a track. And it's that track that moves around the entire frame, not the wheel. So, as the rider pedals, the track moves and rotates around the frame. It reminds me of a treadmill. And technically, both the treadmill and these square wheels work pretty much in the same way. Well, this invention looks pretty safe, I guess. Now, look at this weird U-shaped robot. What do you think it's made for? A new toothbrush designed by a French company called Y-Brush claims to thoroughly clean teeth. Well, it does save a bit of time. Usually, the dentists say that you have to clean your teeth for about two minutes twice a day. This device can clean all of your teeth in only 10 seconds. The toothbrush, which was first introduced at the Consumer Electronics Show in 2017 and is now available on Amazon for U.S. customers, features 35,000 soft nylon filaments that brush all teeth simultaneously at a 45-degree angle. While the American Dental Association recommends brushing teeth twice a day for two minutes using a soft bristle toothbrush, the Y brush was developed with the assistance of dentists over four years and is available in adult and kid sizes. It's not that easy to change the color of your car. It takes a lot of time, effort, and expertise to do that. But it seems like soon it won't be an issue any longer. Meet a color-changing car. Do you want it blue today? No problem. Maybe you prefer red. Easy peasy. About a year ago, BMW presented a concept, but they went from a monochromatic concept to a veritable rainbow of various shades and tints in just a year. Check out this electric sports sedan concept. It's called iVision D, and it's like a sneak peek into the future with all sorts of cool tech, like virtual assistants powered by AI and heads-up displays on the windshield. And get this, they even threw in a full-color version of e-ink technology, something we've never seen before from last year's concept. How rad is that? So, there are some smart folks over at the University of California, San Diego, who are working on a cool new wearable device. This gadget can actually generate a bit of electricity from the sweat on your fingertips. And get this, it even works while you're dozing off. The way it works is by touching objects with your fingertips, like typing on your phone or playing the piano. Apparently, doing these things can help produce more energy. After some testing, the engineers found that wearing the gadget for 10 hours while snoozing can generate enough juice to power an electronic watch for a full day. That's about 400 millijoules of energy, in case you were wondering. Pretty neat, huh? A huge train is rushing down the tracks. Brakes screeching. In a few seconds, a thousand ton steel battering ram will crash into a bus that is stuck on the railroad crossing. Only a miracle can save the people. Wait, what's that? Moments before the collision, a human figure appears. The person's flying off the nearby mountain with a jetpack behind their back. Their body is protected by an exoskeleton. The suit is similar to the armor of a knight and makes a person incredibly strong. They land in front of the train and press their hands on its front. The exoskeleton absorbs the impact. Wheels screech like crazy. Then, a loud whistling squeal and... Just a few feet away from the bus, the train finally stops. The bus doors aren't working. People can't get out of it. The hero produces a lightsaber from their belt and cuts a new door. This scenario might seem too fantastic, but a lot of cool things previously seen only in comics and movies are now reality. Sarcos Robotics Exoskeleton makes the operator 20 times stronger, reduces the likelihood of injury, and doesn't restrain movement. 
This model is just one of many examples. In the near future, these mechanisms will appear on the streets and will become as familiar as flying drones or hoverboards. In such a suit, you can both rescue people and lift a fridge upstairs alone. But the armor seems incomplete if it can't fly. Richard Browning is the founder of Gravity Industries, a company developing jetpacks. He's also the chief test pilot. His apparatus consists of a large jet engine behind the back and two smaller ones on either arm. The person dressed in it looks like a character in a sci-fi action movie. If you weigh less than 200 pounds, this backpack will let you fly. The catch? Right now, it costs $440,000 to make one. The lightsaber is what fun science means. Several generations of scientists, bloggers, and Jedi fans are trying to create their trademark. The main contender for a lightsaber is high-energy plasma. The strength of the magnetic field will help the plasma keep its shape in the air. But there's a problem. To make the saber work, you'll need to carry a lot of equipment with you. And let's not forget about the ultraviolet radiation and heat that comes from hot plasma. The Burner Metal Vapor Torch is currently the best alternative to the Jedi Sword. This device cuts through a metal door in a few seconds, but fencing with a torch won't work. The cloak that makes a person invisible is no longer a fantasy. Canadian company Hyper Stealth Biotechnology Corp has developed a fabric that will make you disappear. There's no magic in the work of the cloak, just good old physics. This cloak of invisibility creates an optical illusion that hides you from prying eyes. Since 1985, the hoverboard got lots of attention from people all over the world, and inventors have been trying to recreate this design for decades. Many companies have developed their own flying skateboard designs. There's a hoverboard powered by a stream of water, burning kerosene, electricity, or rotating propellers. Arcs Pax Hendo is the closest to its sci-fi prototype. The model can fly in all directions, turn and break. This is possible due to two magnetic fields that repel each other. In 1947, US engineers looked at the car and decided it was boring. Or maybe we can make it fly. Great idea, that. The result of their work was the Model 118 Conv Air Car. Roughly speaking, they took a passenger car and attached a plane with a propeller to its roof. Companies around the world continue to invest millions of dollars in the flying car project, although their cars today look more like drones or helicopters. Many researchers are confident we'll never build a flying car. It's too expensive and dangerous. Did you know that around 3 million people in the UK and millions more worldwide are affected by color blindness? Crazy, right? It's more common in guys, with 1 in 12 males being affected. But it still affects 1 in 200 women, too. Basically, color blindness happens because of how our brains process visual information and how our retinal cone cells react to light. It makes it tough to tell the difference between colors because they all kind of blend together. But fear not. After over a decade of research and testing, the amazing Enchroma sunglasses were created. These glasses have lenses that filter out specific light wavelengths, which helps fix the overlap issue. So now, people with color blindness can finally see the world in all its colorful glory. I gotta say, this invention is cool. But recently, even cooler glasses have been invented. They were created by some brilliant researchers at Oxford University to help people who are blind or have limited vision. These glasses for augmented reality are designed to provide wearers with helpful information about their surroundings so they can confidently navigate their daily lives. It's amazing how this technology can give people a whole new perspective on the world and help them experience life to the fullest. We all know that plastic waste is a major problem it's messing with marine life and our environment in all sorts of ways once it gets into the ocean. But check this out. Scientists from the University of Chemistry and Technology in Prague are trying to fix it with self-propelling microbots. These little guys are about the size of a red blood cell, and they use solar energy to move around and chow down on microplastics. 
It's like a sci-fi movie coming to life. And get this, they're actually making a difference. You can see them zipping around in this pic with the blue spots representing the microbots. The dangerous plastics are getting broken down and the environment is getting cleaned up using visible light. Unlike all the previous ideas mentioned in this video, this one gained neither success nor recognition. Back in the day, dudes were all about the walrus mustache and beard combo. But then, like most trends, it faded away. Suddenly, it was totally cool to be clean shaven. But let's be real, who has time for that kind of morning routine? That's why hitting up the local barber for a quick shave and shoe shine became the norm. The only problem? Barbers could only serve one customer at a time. So, some genius came up with the idea of a group shaving machine. Picture this, a row of dudes sitting side by side with the machine applying foam to all their faces at once. Then, a giant blade would come in and trim all their facial hair in one fell swoop. In theory, this bad boy could shave 12 dudes at a time. But, as with most things in life, there were some downsides. The machine couldn't adjust to different face shapes, so some guys ended up with uneven shaves. And the worst case scenario? Cuts and abrasions from that giant blade. Ouch. One more mustache-related invention. Back in the Victorian era, men were serious about their appearance. A proper gentleman knew that a well-groomed mustache was the key to success. But with great facial hair comes great responsibility. How could a man protect his prized possession from hot or frothy drinks? A man could use the mustache cup, invented by a British potter named Harvey Adams. But that wasn't enough for Reuben P. Hollinshed, who patented an even better invention in 1890, a mustache guard that suspended a gentleman's mustache out of harm's way while he ate and drank. It may look a bit painful, but hey, anything for the perfect stash. A comfortable ride on the highway always beats riding a horse in the prairie. While engineers are trying to get cars to fly, their colleagues have made it so that transport doesn't need a driver anymore. The computer takes over the controls. If you need to go to a supermarket or restaurant, your self-driving car will choose the best route itself. It also knows how to park. I should have started with this. The car distinguishes between other road users thanks to sensors, video cameras, and powerful computer processors. It notices traffic signals and road signs. The robo-taxi project is one of the most promising ones in the field. Most likely, in the next 10 to 20 years, driving schools will become a thing of the past. For thousands of years, ancient people sat by fires and looked at the starry sky. Our civilization has already explored space firsthand, but there are still more questions than answers. There have been 600 astronauts in space in 60 years. Of these, seven people are tourists who have visited the International Space Station. For the right to see our planet from a height of 250 miles, you have to pay $50 million. SpaceX and its owner Elon Musk are willing to establish a colony on Mars by 2050. One million people will settle in the first ever Martian city. You don't have to get on board a spaceship to feel like you're on another planet. 80% of the world's oceans are unexplored and unmapped. Marine vessel manufacturers offer to explore the seabed in comfort. To this end, they've developed submarine yacht designs that combine comfort and safety. The private submarine Migaloo M5 is as long as the Washington Monument is tall, and it can stay underwater for four weeks. The set includes a hangar with a helicopter, jet skis, and mini bath escapes. There are no buyers yet, but it's only a matter of time. Imagine that you're a scuba diver who descended to the bottom of the ocean. There's darkness all around you, but the flashlight can handle it. You breathe liquid that fills your helmet up to your eyes. Wait, what? We can't breathe water or, for example, soda because these substances don't have enough oxygen, not because they're liquid. In the future, scuba divers will breathe liquid enriched with oxygen. It'll also allow for deep diving. 
American company Second Sight Medical Products has developed an artificial eye that can restore vision to a blind person. It's called Argus 2. It's actually an electronic retinal implant and the first step in creating the bionic eye. Perhaps in the future, it'll be able to zoom in and out of objects, make the image clear, or turn on infrared light. Augmented reality glasses haven't reached technical perfection yet. Most futurists are confident they'll change our world, just like the internet did. Why do you need a TV or computer? At your command, the glasses will lower a virtual screen of any size in front of you with your favorite TV series. The same applies to furniture, clothing, and dishes. All this will be replaced by virtual stuff. Augmented reality glasses digitize any item that surrounds you and makes it look how you want it to. Unless you take them off, of course. Today, you have a Mediterranean landscape out your window. And tomorrow, you've got a view of Times Square. Hard drives and computer optical drives store enormous amounts of data. But this technology is unreliable. Over time, disks become unreadable. Scientists have almost solved this problem. They learned how to write electronic data into the DNA of living bacteria. Biological processes take place inside every living cell. Scientists have managed to program them using computer systems methods. Nanobots will appear in the next 10 years. In movies and comics, villains are most often associated with this technology. In the real world, nanobots will be used in medicine. Each robot is no larger than a molecule. By launching a flock of nanobots into the human body, doctors will be able to monitor the health and physical condition of their patients. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.